on the way. Told you I wasn't done with those Tomahawk kills. What's going on guys? It's GCP here playing some Black Ops 3, switching it over from Black Ops 1 so Black Ops 1 doesn't get too stale for you guys. I want to keep the content on here fresh as possible, but I'm using the XR2 this time around, a gun that I don't normally use on my channel or in any of my gameplays. I'm mainly using the KN44 or the CUDA, but the XR2 is such a powerful weapon. I forgot just how strong this weapon is. If you get a burst above the chest, it's just a one kind of burst kill. It's absolutely insane how powerful this weapon is. But the only thing you have to keep in mind is it's a burst weapon, so you have to be a little more precise in your shots. But if your aim is on point, man, are you gonna be good using this weapon. But anyways, just a mere observation that I've noticed from yesterday's video. Because it involved another YouTuber, because it involved controversy and drama, it saw a spike in views than my normal videos. Now, this is true of all people who have posted drama videos in the past because people are gravitating towards, you know, what is relevant, what is happening in the world, the drama, the controversy, the latest one, right? And people want to know your opinion, they want to know your stance, and they also want to know you know what in general is going on so of course it's going to get more views and more traction and all that so there's no denying that the only concern that i have is if you're a call of duty channel or you know a youtube channel who is constantly and only talking about other people only talking about other youtubers and exposing them and drama and all of that that is something that personally i cannot get behind i can't support that type of channel because that shows me that without name dropping somebody else or talking about somebody else you're not going to stay relevant and that's not that's not really original to me i i want to find people who are original who can talk about other topics without having to talk about other people i feel like small minds talk about other people every now and then like for example the video that i made yesterday because it was a big deal and initially i didn't even think that i was going to make a video regarding reaper and his situation but somehow some way or another it was just something you know just so hard not to talk about that i finally decided that i wanted to weigh in on that video i wanted to weigh in on my thoughts for that video and just the controversy as a whole and you know there are a lot of controversies out there like for example with syndicate and t martin with that situation that happened that i could have talked about but you know i decided not to now personally i don't get involved with that stuff and i know there are again dedicated channels who do that and you know what to be honest i can call them out i can be very specific about who i'm talking about but you know what i'm not going to do that but all i'm going to say is those types of channels are really not original and honestly if uh, if you have to constantly rely on talking about other people in order to stay relevant then honestly i think that's kind of sad but you know what? Those are just my thoughts. Not judging anyone. <laughs> if you do that or you know somebody who does that, you know, let them do them. And honestly, if you're entertained by that, then cool. But just giving you my opinions and my thoughts and how I feel about it. You don't have to agree with me. You can disagree with me and that's totally fine. But just giving you my thoughts on people who kind of rely on this stuff. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on channels who do that. What are your thoughts initially do you agree with them or are you just entertained by them or if not do you agree with me um, let me know in the comment section below with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one this is gcp and i am signing off